It's time for Show Off Sunday, where everyone has a chance to show off their own car, and here's this week's winner. Welcome to my 1973 MGV. This is my first and only car that I bought during high school for my junior high music instructor. He called me up the summer after my freshman year of high school and asked if I was getting my driver's permit soon, which I said yes to. He replied with, well, how would you like to have my 1973 MGB? Being a nay 15 year old, I had no idea what an MGB was. So while I was on the phone with him, I quickly Googled it. And once I saw some pictures, I very quickly said, heck yeah. I like to say that I bought the car in boxes most because it came with the engine and transmission removed from the car. My music instructor had rebuilt the factory four-speed transmission and removed the engine to replace the rear main oil seal, but could not find the time to finish the project, hence why he sold it to me. Over the course of the next year or so, my father and I began to reassemble the car. Originally, the engine and engine bay was black, but we decided to clean it up and paint it red to match the color of the car. My dad was really the main proponent of that, since I really wasn't too enthusiastic about cleaning off 40 years of worth of grease to paint it, but I am grateful I went through that effort now. We got it running and I drove it around for my senior year of high school, but I soon noticed that the engine had very low oil pressure and was only getting 90 psi of compression in each cylinder. During the summer after I graduated, my dad and I tore apart the engine again and gave it the refresh it needed by rebuilding the head, putting in new rings, comrod bearings, and a new oil pump. After breaking in the refreshed engine, I drove it 650 miles from where I grew up in Southern California to Utah, where I am now going to college. This video here was taken during my road trip up to school. Since the car is my daily driver, I installed a luggage rack so I could fit more things into the car if need be. Even without the luggage rack though, the trunk does have quite a bit of space in it for a car this size, which is nice for people that daily drive it like me. Although I did get a new soft top for it, I also got the hard top because I figured it would work better in inclement weather than the soft top would. I also think that the white contrasts very nicely with the red paint. Here's a little bit about the car mechanicals. The engine is 1800cc, 4 cylinder pushrod overhead valve with dual SU carburetors. The carbs are a pain to tune and balance, but once they're set, they are very reliable and very simple to work on, which is nice. One unique thing about this car is that the intake and exhaust are located on the same side of the engine in order to make it easy to access the spark plugs and electrical system. It has the old style points distributor and then a point style SU fuel pump that is mounted at the back of the car on the fuel tank. The steering is very tight because it has rack and pinion steering and with its low center of gravity and good handling, it makes this car blast the drive on a canyon road. The dash is quite simple with attack, speedometer, oil pressure, fuel gauge, temperature gauge, and a manual choke for starting the car. It also has a red ignition light that turns on whenever the alternator is not charging the battery, which helps with diagnosing electrical problems. One thing they did a very good job of doing with this car is designing the interior, because although it is a very small car, the driver and passenger have quite a bit of legroom. Thank you Scotty Kilmer for featuring my car and hope you all enjoyed the video! video and remember to have your car video highlighted here on my channel check this out so if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos remember to ring that bell